Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And this morning I'm here with this little snake right here. And the reason I wanted to do an episode on this snake is because over the last 30, 35 years where I've been teaching biology in this little town in Southwest Virginia, I can't even tell you how many calls I've gotten about people who think they have killed a copperhead. And they said, hey, Mr. Taylor, uh, we, you know, we just killed a copperhead. Do you want to see it? And I said, yeah, I want to see it, but um, I don't think it's a copperhead. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it's been one of these little black snakes. The other thing I wanted to point out in this episode is that you can't always tell a poisonous snake by a triangular head. That's one of the, one of the really big kind of falsehoods because I'll show you how this little snake will make its head shape triangular and try to look like a toxic snake. I've done a number of different episodes on black snakes, what they climb, how they climb, how they defend themselves, five things you should need, need to know about all black snakes. And I finally got a little baby black snake thanks to our animal shelter person in the city of Radford that called me up and said she had found this crawling in their lobby at the animal shelter. And she called me up and I said, yeah, that's the snake I've been looking for. I want to do an episode on it. So today's episode is about these cool little harmless black snake juveniles that are often mistaken for copperheads because, well, they're not black. And when they're agitated, they will make their head in the shape of a, a triangle. <laughs> and they'll do that to try to scare predators. And the other thing he'll do is he'll rattle his tail just like a rattlesnake. And we'll show you that too. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. And here's the make this face it. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's So the first thing I want to do today with you is to look at its color patterns. And you can see on the surface of this snake that his color patterns are dominated by brown blotches on the top of his back in between gray. And if you look at the sides, there are little brown blotches on the sides as well. Another key characteristic that these juvenile black snakes have, if you look very closely at his eye, you can see a black streak that extends from his eye down towards his belly plates on his abdomen. So this is a juvenile black snake Juvenile black snakes are not black. They lose this pattern as they get older and become more and more black. Some of the adults are completely black and some of the adults you can still see traces of this pattern underneath. Now, how does that differ from the copperhead? Well, remember looking at here, what you wanna watch for to see that it's not a copperhead is that these blotches are intact on the back and surrounded by gray. In a copperhead, the blotches appear as hourglasses. And the hourglass is wide at the bottom near the belly, gets narrower right on the surface, and then gets wider again on the next belly. So you need to look for the brown hourglass on the copperhead. So you can see, again, the black snake juvenile has brown blotches on a gray background and other blotching around it. But that's sort of the key thing to look at. Copperhead has these blotches, but they're in the shape of hourglasses. So copperheads always look for the hourglass shape. And also I think they're just so distinctly colored. I don't know how you could make the difference between them. The black rat snakes are very slim bodied while the copperheads tend to be very heavy bodied. Now, if you look at their heads, when he's relaxed like this, his head does not look very triangular. 
But when he gets agitated, does that to mimic a venomous snake like the copperhead. These are non-venomous, and when he gets agitated and upset with me, he will actually bite me. But he's so small, and his jaws are so weak that when he bites, he doesn't even clasp on, he doesn't break skin. These guys are really, really very harmless. So what can these little guys do to defend themselves? Well, one of the things they'll do is, of course, to make their head triangular shape, as you've seen. And the other thing they'll do is they'll try to vibrate their tail in the dry leaves and mimic the sound of a rattlesnake. And here you can see this guy doing that right now. So unfortunately, mimicking a venomous snake might work for this guy in the wild, but mimicking a venomous snake against a human gardener with a shovel in their hand um, is not such a great idea. They will sometimes release a foul-smelling material from their gland as a defense. It's very foul-smelling. And you'll have to check out my video on black snake defenses. But the purpose of today's video was really to show you what a juvenile black snake looks like, to show you that they're not all black. These are so, so commonly killed by people thinking that they're copperheads, venomous snakes, and they're not. They're really harmless. Um, they're great to have around the house because they'll eat mice and rats and control the rodent population. They're part of our natural ecology, our complex food webs. They're just kind of really cool, I think. When you see a little snake like this with blotches on it, don't please don't immediately assume it's a copperhead. It's a juvenile black snake. This was actually the second call. I taught in town for 35 years, so I have thousands and thousands of Facebook friends. And I actually put the word out, hey, if you find one of these things, let me know because I want to do a video on it. It's always proper and legal, legally required in a lot of places. When you find a snake, you need to put it back where you found him. I will return this one to, well, not to the lobby of the animal shelter, but I will return it to that area so um, he can return to his natural habitat where he knows where there's food and water and where he must have uh, hatched from an egg. So this is a juvenile black snake, Pantherophus alleghaniensis, completely harmless. Pantherophus means panther, alleghaniensis means from where it was found in the Allegheny Mountains and first identified. It's uh, distributed across the whole East Coast. They're really, really cool snakes. It's my favorite snake. I hope you get the chance to see one, and when you do, you're not frightened and you don't think that it's a possibly a venomous snake. So juvenile black snakes, they are not black. They're mottled in color. And you can see those gray specks or brown specks on the back. That's the, you know, the really characteristic part of the snake. But thank you for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door, comparing the juvenile black rat snake to a copperhead. And I hope that in the end, more of these guys get to survive and not are not mistaken for copperheads. If you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe, send me a like, and I love hearing comments from my viewers. Thanks for watching Nature at Your Door.